In our last episode, we made cave mouths for our cave system. In this episode, we're going to make a bone throne. Find out how in this exciting episode of... Dungeons and Coffee! The stars of our project are these Dollar General items. A skull and a bone hand. They each cost only one dollar. We'll alter these slightly. By flattening the top of the skull, this will provide a location for our throne. Perhaps PCs will come across the Bone Throne in the extreme depths of the Underdark, or perhaps the jungles of Chult. By the time we're finished, we want the skull to look like it's carved out of one large piece of rock. A few facial runes will give him character. That way he's not just another bonehead. And now for the hand. It's not quite interesting enough for me, so I'm going to cut off the fingers. This will allow me to glue them together at angles and make the hand more interesting, as if it's curving in or grasping the throne itself. After all, one can never be too handy around the craft room. There we go. Now we're beginning to grasp the concept. The runes and the horns were a good start, but it's time to build up layers to add more character. Forget the cardstock base. I found this old scrap piece of blue foam that my cat has attacked over the years. I think this will make some nice stone foundation. Now we'll start adding texture with a little dental work. I'm thinking ancient worn stone. Maybe even Arby's. Now that we've built up our layers of stone, we're going to cover the whole thing in tissue paper and glue. We certainly don't want Bonehead to catch a cold. By the power of Grayskull! And last, a little sand and glue to add to that weathered, ancient, rubbled look. And now, let's take a look at our gaming table! Don't forget to check out our Dungeons & Coffee Facebook page, and check us out on Twitter too. This way you can keep track of when we do our live streams, and you can pop in and say hello. Oh no. Is Piggy in danger of being sacrificed again? Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice! Remember, keep your books off the table, and keep reaching for the dice!